I am your host with the locks that rocks, Adam Richmond, and this is your official podcast of Rocklahoma, Surviving Rocklahoma, and I got a couple of guys that's surviving right alongside with me, Nova Rex, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening, Adam? Hey Appreciate you, man. We are here again. Yeah. A beautiful, beautiful Rocklahoma. So tell me a little bit about playing Rocklahoma this year. Well, here, this, what about <laughs> you, Sean? Well, this is my first time in Rocklahoma, so... Really? I've missed out the past couple of uh, past couple of years, but finally made it. Yeah, we just ate <laughs> breakfast with Corey Taylor, yeah. so it's all good. Yeah. Holy hell! <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about uh, that as an experience. Yes. Oh, oh, just it's rock and roll, man. It's a crazy life that we live, right? Yeah. I mean, we just came all the way from Florida to go play on a stage, and here we are. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, everything's been good, man. We just uh, we, we're uh, celebrating our 38th year. 38th which, yeah, yeah. year. That's a long time. We, I mean, people get make a joke about that, but I'm like, look, we were together before Guns N' Roses. Right. That's a true story. I mean, I'm not even lying. Now, I admire the commitment. But I've I'm been, still doing it, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Still still spitting it, and uh, everything's been uh, cool. Yeah. We've been very excited. Just cut a, uh, a new single called Time Is Up For You, which you played. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> so I thank you guys for letting me feature oh, listen, everybody. I appreciate anybody that supports it. rock and roll at this point. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're like a freaking unicorn at this point. <laughs> that just won't die. It just won't yeah. die. Unicorn on crack. A little more makeup as the years progress. But hey, yeah. Well, him, him. I wear glasses now. I, I give up on makeup. Tell before, me before long, I'll just have a mask where you just see my <laughs> face like this. I'm thinking about switching religions just for that reason. Well, that's why you all had to become like you know have that stage presence just so you can wear the like I'm, the I'm accessories. I'm freaking right? be, like Gore's got the idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. So did you, did you guys we, go we into We did. We left as soon as they started last night. Yeah, we oh flew in. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Absolutely. I was watching from in there the safety. This is my second uh, time. So I you didn't porn. get all gored, though. You didn't get the... You see did. Oh, no, nice. I, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go in the meat grinder? Yeah. She did. With the nails. Nice. Nice. She came back, and she still had, like, the gore <laughs> goo all over the nice. front. Good and so, you. And I was like, what the hell happened? She's like... <laughs> It was gone. <laughs> so, who, who are you most excited to see me, this year? Me, myself, uh, Corey Taylor. I'm, yeah, I'm there just you go. There you go. Slipknot, uh, Stone Sour, Corey yeah. Lee Taylor's solo I got a stuff. cookbook. Oh, we, we just seen Roy, the drummer who's playing with Ministry, yep. yeah. who plays with Stone Sour. Yeah, right. But uh, they're all hanging out over there. Or oh over my there. Gosh. Yeah. The uh, food. I know where I'll be later. <laughs> That's where all the action is, man. It's where the food's at. You always find me. I don't care who you are. The thing about bands is this. I don't care if you're making a dollar or you're making five hundred thousand dollars, as long as the food's good. I'm saying it's, that's how it is in life, man. You, you feed us a steak, we're happy, man. What's your go-to road food when you're uh, traveling? As far as drive-through? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I know some people like Bucky's is legendary. Everybody's nah, got to go Bucky, to Bucky's. Nah, we got Wawa's in Florida, so that's pretty big. Yeah. Kind of the same thing. But uh, yeah. I used to go to uh, what's that place? Yeah. You used to do the free breadsticks, Fazoli's. Oh, we're talking about. Uh, well, Fazoli's in Ohio. that's in Ohio. Well, it used to but be all Olive Al Garden, right? Yes. But those are, I don't know, okay. bologna and cheese. Yeah, nice. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> so when you're touring, okay. So like I uh, here locally, yes. I I know all the best eats. Oh, and nice. I'm like, anytime I'm going through this town, I was like, oh, man, we're going through uh, yeah, so-and-so. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, hell, if you want to drive through Veneta, man, they got some great mountain oysters if you're catching my drift. Mountain but if oysters. you're into those sort yeah. of things. Adrian likes some mountain oysters. That <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, the one thing about the, the thing about me, 38 years of traveling, is right. really just the memories. Yeah. I didn't want to be that guy that just talked about the stuff he did 25 years ago. Sure. And uh, the memories just get crazier, man. Right. I mean, we did a gig a couple of years ago where we showed up in uh, Houston, Texas, right? Just a gig. And it was a freaking nudist swinger resort. What? <laughs> yeah, we showed up and everybody's naked. Naked, nudist. Re uh, actually, we were trying to get people to put their clothes on. But right. usually when we do a gig, we're trying to get everybody that's naked. Af that's the after party. That's yeah. not the not before party. party. Right. <laughs> so this experience is like that. And then you talk about food. Yeah. You know, it's always great to eat New England clam chowder in New England. Or have you know uh, waffles, chicken and waffles in in uh, freaking Louisiana or, or, or Alabama or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, it's all good stuff, yeah. man. Do, uh, this, this earlier this year, we drove uh, 1,500 miles for our first trip across the country. We took Key West, Florida, for an opportunity, and the road was something just. 
I've never been on a trip that long. Every state has its own identity. Yeah. Oh, when, when we went through Alabama and what was it, Georgia, I swear it was like Walking Dead the entire way. Yes. Nothing but fog. Yes. Do you have some uh, stories from the trips like where you're driving like, where the hell Well, we, we? We, did a, we did a show where we drove from Florida all the way to, uh, we were in, Pat, we were in n- northern New York State. Right. And we get to the club, and the club's been gone. It's been closed for two months. Sure. How do you how do you show up to a bar that's not even there anymore? It's set fire, you know what I mean? And we <laughs> we drove all the way up there for the gig. Holy so that's pretty God. silly. Yeah. That yeah. was that was a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Dude. But no, no. I mean, there's enough there's enough drama in, yeah. in the van, the trailer, the bus, whatever you're driving. Yeah. The stories are just. Stupid. Even today, we were, we were driving, got gas, and then our the car little, went the little, like, next, the little, There's no key anymore. It's a little fob. It wouldn't work. She's swiping it, swiping it, swiping it. We're there for 20, 30 minutes yeah. trying to figure out. We, like, we didn't know we were going to make it. Yeah. So, yeah, we yeah. almost didn't make this. So, it's all, it's, right. we, we need to the airport yet. You know yeah. what I mean? Call me tomorrow. I'll, let, I'll tell you how it went. <laughs> Where are you in about your current stretch of the tour? Oh, this thing. We just came out and did this one off on yeah. a Sunday. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing uh, a lot, we're actually doing a lot of uh, just shows for promoting the doc. The doc. Yeah, that's that's real. The main so, thing we're pr- sure. promoting. Yeah. So what we have coming on? It's it's our second documentary. We released one back in 2011. It was like a glorified home movie that I actually edited. I had somebody do it. I don't do the editing, but they did it in like a couple of weeks. I sent it off to Showtime after it was done, thinking, hey, this looks like something, right? Right. And the Showtime at the Showtime owned the documentary channel. So and the acquisition person was from my home state. So it just kind of all lined up, and so they played it on the documentary channel. Ain't easy being cheesy and we're just making fun of the grunge the hair metal and all that yeah. and then um it had a short run on netflix back when they used to mail the dvds in mm-hmm. so then um just now it's like well really because of covid right it's like hey let's uh, let's double down on this and let's do another one so it's a continuation of it and it's just stupid yeah. hilarious can you tell me a little bit what it's like about having someone do a, a documentary about your life, anything you've done. I'm well, it's, just... it's, it's kind of weird because it's so personal. Yeah. Right. You know, you'll, you'll understand about my son. You'll know why I got into rock and roll. You'll know, you know, how much medication I've been on. How many, how many guys I've lost along the way between Baker acting and uh, alcoholism and divorce. Yeah. I mean, rock and roll ain't fun. Yeah. Our tagline says rock and roll ain't pretty. That's why it wears makeup. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. True story. But if you, you know, it's just like another story of a, a rock band. Yeah. I mean, and we, it gets compared a lot to like The Dirt. But right. it, again, The Dirt was with actors and it was a, mo- it was a movie, right? Mm-hmm. And then a lot of times the first one got uh, compared to Spinal Tap a lot, which that guy was on Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Rob, Meatball, Meathead, Rob Reiner directed that. But this is an actual documentary. So if you like docs, and I happen to like docs, sure. you'll see the 38 year history. Yeah. And we mentioned Rock Oklahoma in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, no, there's clips of everything, yeah. everything out there. And what was wild is that we ended up making 75 minutes. It, it was 90. Yeah. We condensed it down to 75 because people's attention spans, like ourselves right now. Right. But um, that's a lot of five-second clips right. to make a story out of. So as long as the story's there. Yeah. And there's pictures of me that I don't really, I, I wouldn't put on social media, sure. but in the doc, they're there. So, because it tells a story. And I don't even give a shit at this point. <laughs> well, and that actually um, kind of leads into what I was uh, kind of curious about. You know, whenever you start doing uh, things in such a public nature, you have control over how much of your life is an open book. We can sit there and say, oh, I'm an open yep. book. And then that's like 75% of our Exactly. Stuff. Now, you go to a documentary and you're now taking your closet door and just turning it into a glass door. You've got, I mean, there's hardly anything left. Is that a bit of a change in being able to have a little bit guarded but now everything's out they well everything. i'll tell you honestly believe it or not they're still a little bit guarded sure. but but we probably we probably flew out 90 yeah. percent yeah i mean you know i don't even know where to start I mean, we have all the same crazy ass stories as everybody else you just got to pick up the, the good stories the only yeah. thing only thing we don't really have in our on our wheelhouse we, there's not really any heroin guys you know what i mean yeah. so other than that we're, everything's the same yeah. bang 10 chicks at one time break down the side of the road why? You know what I mean? Getting a fight with some other band. I mean, all the stories are there. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And when will we be? Uh, where is your target for this? Uh, where will we? Are It'll we be available. Be yeah. So we I, we made a deal with uh, Bayview Entertainment, which is out of New Jersey, mm-hmm. and it will be coming next month on Prime Video. 
Um, I don't have a date. I thought I had a date, yeah. but it is common. Um, I've seen all the information. I mean, this thing's been, listen, this dock has been done for over a year. Wow. I mean, yeah. I'm, I haven't touched it in a year. It's been sent off. Sure. But it, everything takes time and you got to get in order. Sure but yeah. I, I would say definitely in the next 30 days. Yeah. Wonderful. And then after that, it'll be everywhere. You know what I mean? So, so before I lose you guys, let me uh, talk a little bit about your, your current album. Yep. Um, what's, what does that mean to you? Somebody who's want to pop this in. Long time fans, first time fans. What's their takeaway going to be once they uh, finish up your album? Well, for, for us, the, the one thing, and we talk about it in the doc as well, when we were younger, especially during the grunge thing, a lot of people were uh, tracing, chasing trends. Sure. And uh, we tried way late. Uh, but my, my, my main story with that is don't, if time you hear about a trend, time you want to do a trend, you're already too late. Um, so, uh, we just try to keep true to what we do. I mean, I, I take out the ACDC playbook. I mean, they're ACDC every album. So, I mean, where do you go from there? Right. I mean, that's, that's the pinnacle, right? That's as high as it goes. So we just try to keep it rock and roll. I love it. And have fun. And have fun. Yeah. I mean, if you don't enjoy, if you don't enjoy what we're doing, then there's, there's no point. And with this, this, you know, the '80s hair metal stuff. I mean, it, you know, it's it's a party on stage. I mean, that's, that's you just you got you got to have fun. You got to love what you do. You got to love music, and love giving back that to the public, and also getting that back from you know the audience. Because if, if 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 that's if it's that connection's not there, then you know, what what are you doing it for? We're we're selling we're really selling like a memory. Yeah. Right. That's what we're doing. That's what we all do with music in general. Yeah. It's, it's there's some connection to your time. You know, that time I kissed that girl in that Chevy Nova, or that time I got laid finally or that time you know it's all about where you were at i love it man there's so many stories and i i we could go on all day oh but my god i've got to see this documentary we're going to be like finding it, it on really, amazon prime yeah. and uh yeah. we, be sure you follow nova rex on all your social all medias social media. that way you're going to get the alerts when that drops so you can do like me go out there open up a bottle of whiskey and tr watch <laughs> you'll, it you'll have a great time man. if you like rock and roll you, and you like old school rock and roll you'll like the doc I love it, guys. Now, I like to close up every interview by giving my audience, or excuse me, my guests, a chance to address that audience, the folks that watch you on stage, the pe folks that have followed your career all these years, or the f people who are just now discovered you and they want more. Gentlemen, the stage is yours. Oh, my God, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> well, I just want to say, you know, obviously, we, we are very thankful for any fans. We call them friends at this point. We're all a dysfunctional family. And uh, that's why you kept us on the road for 38 years. I don't do this because I'm bored. I mean, this is what I do for a living. And because of people like Rock, Oklahoma, and all the stuff that we're doing. People like you. Yeah, people like yourselves, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, yeah, no peace out, man. Yeah. All righty. I appreciate you guys. Uh, for Nova Rex, I am your host with the locks that rocks, Adam Richmond. This is the official podcast of Rocklahoma, surviving Rocklahoma. Until next time, rock on.